one thing that struck me that was very interesting when this young lady, what's her first name again? Julia. When you ask Julia, what do you need to do for next season to do it? Did you guys notice she never talked about herself? It, that was really impressive to me. Yeah. Okay. She wasn't worried about herself. She was already focused and thinking about what needed to be done for the team. Mm -hmm. Every one of you, other than this 69 shooting golfer over here, uh, <laughs> he is, can in play, a, is in a sport where it is all about the team mm -hmm. and, and what you can do in the wrestling. So, I mean, but you also have a team aspect of that too. But that's the important part of this is you have an opportunity to be a part of something so very special. If I, I, I love to play tennis, I love to, I was, I was a pretty good golfer, but a really good tennis player too. But if I had played tennis and I got to be at the same level I was, one of the best in the world, who do I share that with? Seriously. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I got a coach, I have my family, family supporting me. But when you play on a team and you're able to achieve success with your teammates, that's a very special thing that you all should treasure. I know when I get together with our my teammates from the, from the Warriors, God rest the soul, the guys that aren't with us anymore, it's so incredible to know what we have to share together because we were like a family. And it's a very special time in your life. Enjoy it as much as you possibly can. Um, you may not be involved in it. You may go in a work situation where maybe you'll find a business that operates that way, but a lot of times that's not the case. Um, so enjoy it, treasure it, and, um, and appreciate it for what it really is. It's, it's an incredibly special, special time in your life, and I, I can commend all of you for what you've accomplished thus far. Well, that is words to the wise, Rick. Well said.